Well, I need a new project. I put the word out, told all my friends, hey, I want to build a early dry licks racer from the late 40s, 50s style. And wouldn't you know it, I found this car in a barn just around the corner from me, across the field from my shop, less than a mile. Check it out. It's a pretty nice body. The chassis is just garbage on it. The workmanship was horrible. It was a death trap driving at home. What I really wanted was the engine and the body. Front axle I saved too. Here it is at my house. The very next day I chopped five inches out of it and set the top back on it. Here it is a few days later. Finished. And my buddy saw it and so I wound up chopping his car too. His had a two inch shop and we took another three inches out of it. Anyway, here's my car again. I built a set of headers for it, put a 32 grill on it. Got it driving decent, but it, it still was just working ship was horrible on it. Found that 32 chassis in a hot rod shop hanging in their rafters. So I got to work on uh, making the cross members and X frame and all that for it. Built all that, fitted the rear end, front end, engine, pinched the frame, fit it on the body, pinched the frame in, put it back on a jig, squared it up. Here I am building the floors for it. Had a pretty decent interior too, I saved that. Here, um, sandblasting the, all the parts and frame, primed. Start painting the engine, rear end, frame. Here's the frame painted. Here's putting it together. This was the fun part. Put the body on a rotisserie. Fixed, fixed all the dents, fit the doors. Painted black wherever I wanted to rub through it. I put a 36 dash with, with uh, vintage Stuart gauges in it. Hand lettered all the, the graphics, patinas and all. The car, the engine smoked ever since I had it. Pulled it apart. Stoked to find out it had a four inch stroke and, uh, and a big bore. So I put rings, valves, guides. Um, that's all we did to it. Machine the heads. Here's, here's a blower that my buddy Gasser Joe had in this shed. And that intake manifold. I didn't cut that manifold though. This is the one I cut. It's a 2x2. Two two, like a modern one. I saved the uh, carburetor intakes. Made this uh, aluminum adapter. Welded it to the intake manifold. Uh, this is making the, uh, the drive. That was the hardest part, getting all that square. Making the pulleys, the bottom pulley, tensioner. This was a lot of work not knowing if it was even going to work or not. A couple hundred hours of fabrication. Assembling it, throwing it in on my engine. And some more finished pictures. Here it is, putting it back in the car. It's amazing. I could turn the key and the thing just fired right up. It run perfectly. The only problem I had was the oiling system on the uh, blower. It's a pressure system. Here's the first attempt at putting the uh, oil pressure in it. So now all the oiling systems all squared away and here's a little video of it running and uh, that's it. Hope you guys dug it. Thanks.